Who's a better fit for the Seattle Mariners, Whit Merrifield or Donovan Solano? Find out more in today's video. So as of yesterday, the Whit Merrifield conversations really started to stir. This was the main discussion all over Mariners Twitter yesterday. There was a clip of Whit Merrifield on MLB Network where he basically explained his favorite ballpark to play in as well as the one he thinks he performs best in. He said his favorite one to play in was Fedway, but he said he does believe he performs the best in Seattle. And he would not be wrong. In 86 plate appearances, he's hitting 288 in T-Mobile. And that's throughout his entire career, even his time back with the Kansas City Royals. But basically, this clip sparked an entire conversation, an entire argument across Mariner fans on whether he's worth it or not to sign. And you had a pretty big discrepancy, some people saying that neither one of these guys are even better than Sam Haggerty if he was given the chance. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to focus on these two specific players and not really compare them to anybody else we have on the Mariners. So let's kind of start with just the obvious. I personally think that both of these players would help the team in some aspect. So no matter which one we sign, it's really not a huge player, but it's definitely someone that can come in and help the lineup. In terms of how much these guys would come for, they're both free agents, so you would be signing them to deals. For Donovan Salado, you're looking at the much cheaper range from about two to five million, somewhere in there probably. While with Whit Merrifield, you're looking more to seven to maybe 10. That's kind of pushing it, but more maybe like seven million to nine, which to me is a little overpriced. He was an all-star last year, but still kind of that price range for two very similar players. And there's a huge drastic difference. I don't really know how to feel about it. But in terms of a clubhouse fit, I think Whit Merrifield would definitely fit in the clubhouse really well, only because Donovan Salado does want to stay with Minnesota. He's been trying to get them to offer him a contract for a while now. So kind of for that reason, and kind of Solano's attachment to Minnesota, I feel like Whit Merrifield would definitely be a better clubhouse fit. But truly, this is kind of where things get interesting. I went on StatHead and kind of put their stats for the past two seasons next to each other. As you can see, Donovan Solano offers a much higher war, so almost two full games. While Witt owns every category on the right side in terms of games, plate appearance, hits, home runs, RBI, stolen bases. But then Solano beats him in every category in terms of batting average, on base percentage, slugging, OPS, OPS plus. So like I said, it's, it really is a toss up in terms of what's more valuable to you because Witt gives you a lot of speed as well. He had 42 stolen bases in the past two seasons while Solano had absolutely none. So truly, I can see arguments for both sides. Even if you look up their career stats, Donovan Solano's a 279 career hitter, while Whit Merrifield's a 284 career hitter. And Whit does offer a little bit more power than Solano does. The biggest thing I feel like a lot of people are focusing on is the WRC Plus that they both offer. Over the past five years, Donovan Solano hasn't posted a WRC Plus under 100, where he even had a high of 125 WRC Plus in the COVID season, while Whit Merrifield, on the other hand, has only posted over 100 WRC Plus twice in the past five years, with both of those coming in 2019 and 2020. So the past three seasons, he's posted below 100 WRC plus. So this really does bring up the point of like, why would we overpay almost double for a guy that's very similar to someone we can get for half the price? Mind you, Donovan Solano can play first base, second base, or third base, but my guess is he'll primarily be a second baseman, obviously moving Urias and Rojas to third. While Whit Merrifield will probably be a Sam Haggerty Demo type, where he'll probably be a utility guy. He can play the outfield as well. But I had even seen some tweets yesterday saying if you sign him, he's going to be a platoon. But to me, that doesn't make sense because why are we going to pay him seven to nine million dollars for him just to platoon every day when we already have guys like that and we have guys in the minors like Ryan Bliss just waiting to come up? So to me, if you're signing Whit Merrifield, you're placing him at second base and that's it. Unless you truly need him to go out and play maybe an outfield position for one of the days, it doesn't make any sense to sign him for that much money and then have him only play in like 80 something games. Which speaking of games, Whit Merrifield is definitely very reliable. He's played in over a thousand games in the eight seasons he's played in the MLB, which is crazy. So in terms of injury, there's really not much to worry about there. Obviously anything can happen, but if he were to come, he'd be playing every single day, which is definitely a huge bonus. But what's fascinating about Donovan Solano is he ranked second in sweet spot percentage. The only person that ranked higher than him was Luis Arise, which is definitely not bad company to be a part of. But I'll pull up both their baseball savant pages on the screen now. And as you can kind of see, they're both kind of below average fielders, while Witt definitely offers a lot more on the base paths. And you can kind of tell by their baseball savant that technically Donovan Solano is a much better hitter than Whit Merrifield is. And Solano last season against right-handed pitching had a 120 WRC plus while he had a 110 WRC plus against lefties. So the guy can hit both lefties and righties, which is definitely a huge bonus as well. You don't have to keep moving it moving him in and out based on lefty or righty matchups. But I can't lie, this is definitely one of the most interesting debates that we've had in a while. Because at the end of the day, when you hear these names, you're not like, wow, these guys are crazy players. Like these are game changing moves. But when you look at it on paper, they both are above average players who can come in, play second base every day for you and definitely make an impact. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I actually just posted yesterday the whole Colton Bong debacle over on Twitter. Similar with Adam Frazier, we had both those guys coming in expecting to make big moves for us. And none of them really turned out to be what they were in their past teams. So I don't want to guarantee anyone's going to come in here and just be a good player. But if you look at these guys' stats and their proven track sheet, it looks like wherever they go, they're going to succeed. So personally, if you had to ask me to pick one,
one based on price and overall player. I'm picking Donovan Solano. But in terms of who I think would come in and fit in the clubhouse and obviously already performs well at T-Mobile, I'm picking Whit Merrifield. So to be honest, I don't really know if there is a right or wrong answer here. There is also a history with Jerry Depoto and Whit Merrifield because Jerry did try to trade for him back a few years ago as well. So me personally, I do think he brought up the whole thing of Seattle on MLB Network a little bit on purpose. But at the end of the day, if they were to make this last move for one of these players, I would not complain. This moves Urias and Rojas over to third of their more comfortable positions. While you now have an everyday second baseman as well as people behind him that can go and fill his role if he needs an off day or whatever it may be. And you also have Ryan Bliss waiting down in AAA for his time to come up and play. So I'm personally a big fan of either one of these moves. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and who you'd rather have on the roster. But otherwise, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.